in September. Mm-hmm. Part right. one is, do you want to recall Governor Newsom? Is that correct? That's correct. Then if that gets a majority, what happens? Then whoever gets the greatest number of votes to replace him becomes the next governor within 30 days after the Secretary of State certifies the election. So he is counting on winning the majority of Part 1. Right, in which case Part 2 is, is, uh, is neither here nor there. So it's, it's nullified. That's what he's counting on. That's why he wants to characterize this as a race between Gavin Newsom and Donald Trump or Gavin Newsom and Trump supporters, because uh, in California and many parts of the state, uh, probably the only person less popular than Donald Trump maybe is Charlie Manson, and that's probably a toss-up. Then I'm going to give you one quick story. Yesterday I did a lot of commercials, and I'm talking with the makeup lady. She's a single mom. She has a 17-year-old boy who was one of the top wrestlers in the state of California uh, for his weight class, one of the top 25. And he was wrestling six days a week, uh, and his coach was really his father figure. Gavin Newsom shut it down. This kid became increasingly morose, had a good enough relationship with his mom, had enough in- courage to go to her and told her he was suicidal. She now has him in counseling. I talked to another woman on my staff whose brother uh, is an Oakland um, uh, football coach. He is white. Most of his uh, uh, uh most of his uh, kids are black, and he is their father figure, and he gave them structure. And he pleaded and begged with the authorities not to shut the, the practices down. They're outdoors. Can we at least do that? They wouldn't let him. Two of the kids got into trouble with the law. One of them committed a crime so heinous he's going to be behind bars for years. This would not have happened had these kids had the structure and still had the interaction on a daily basis with this father figure coach. The coach was so angry, Dennis, he's now left California and moved to Tennessee where he's resumed his career without the mask mandate. This is what Gavin Newsom has done, and these are the many, many unintended consequences of the most draconian uh, lockdown of any of the 50 states. Just want to tell everybody that uh, in the beginning, within one month or six weeks of the lockdown, I tweeted and wrote a piece that the lockdown was the world's greatest mistake in history. Not the greatest evil, Mm -hmm. I made the distinction, the greatest mistake. And this is a perfect example. And people don't care about these kids. They just don't care. And and why? Go on. Go prime, on. Prime, exa- prime example, Dennis, the head of the United Teachers of Los Angeles, remember what she said? Uh, a lot of parents were pushing and pushing, pushing to reopen the school. The teacher didn't want to. They were still getting paid. And she said this was, a, this was an example of white supremacy. Are you kidding me? The ones who are hurt the most are the black and brown kids. But, uh, but because some of the parents that were yelling and screaming were white, this head of the United Teachers Association of Los Angeles, the largest affiliate of the California Teachers Association, said this was an effort by white supremacists. I kid you not. Well, I'm sure you'll even be called a white supremacist. <laughs> I've been called worse. <laughs> you have been called worse. That, that is exactly right. Uh, Larry, I, anything I can do, I'm saying it publicly so that I'm, I'm, I'm called on it. Anything I can do for you, if you want well, me Dennis, to swim the L.A. River. <laughs> well, Dennis, just keep putting out the website, electelder.com, because I cannot win uh, without money. And, Dennis, I don't have money. I mean, uh, my right. net worth is around $3 million. All of it is tied up in, uh, uh, in, in my house. Exactly. I don't have any fluid money like that. Right. Uh, and that's why a lot of people don't run. Uh, So if I don't get help from people within the state and outside the state, because, Dennis, as California goes, so goes the rest of the country. Washington, D.C. is dominated by a Democrat president, a Democrat Senate, a Democrat House, and California is dominated by a Democrat governor uh, and supermajorities in the Senate and supermajorities in the Assembly. And as you see what's going on with California with the crime, you see what's going on with California with the homelessness, with the quality of schools, with the high cost of living. Uh, This is coming to a theater near you if we don't do something about it. ElectElder.com. Now, is there a limit? Uh, what are people allowed to give? There are well, some wealthy can, listeners. Yes, individuals can give $34,200. That's the cap for individuals. But if there are millionaires and billionaires, there are ways. There, there are special packs that can be set up. They're not, they won't be coordinated with the campaign, but they will be sympathetic with the campaign. And that's how people get around these campaign finance limits. So if there are multimillionaires, multibillionaires, and I know they're out there, 
there are ways. Just contact me uh, at electelder.com, uh, and uh, there's also a contact Larry Elder. Uh, contact me. Send me a message. We can probably figure something out. We sure can. Electelder.com. Anytime you want to come on, let me know. God bless you, Larry. God bless you, Dennis. And Dennis, again, thank you so much for the encouragement. I, I think that I would feel that I have shirked my spiritual and moral responsibility if I didn't do this. And thank you for for, for, for inducing me, um, and thank you for, for, for leaning on me, and thank you for, uh, in your loving way, pressuring me to do this. And, and I'm doing this, Dennis, and I intend to win it. Yep, exactly. This is a very, a very touching moment for me.